Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So uh, for this video uh, I will continue um, Chapter 4 uh, PHP scripting For part 2 We continue Okay about the function in PHP Okay So for the uh, objective For the video uh, To learn how to use multiple PHP file We have learned in the lab Okay how to use includes Yeah what you have done and then to understand how to use build in the function and then define constant validate value to format to, uh, to format and manipulating string okay we will learn in this video okay first of all you are uh, for this page okay multiple php file okay use header and footer okay this one kita nak uh, we have um many multiple files how we want to reduce the codes okay so you can use uh, you can separate because every uh, website page you have header and footer with the same header and the same footer so you can minimize the codes by using uh, uh, includes punya function okay for example uh, like this one uh, you just uh, separate the header, you create the header.php and then untuk uh, footer pun, you create the footer.php and then nanti, kita include lah ok, maybe you should uh, say an example, this one for the header ok, eh uh, sorry this one for the header, html sampai, uh, this kat sini dia buat html, heat body, ok and then dia tak full eh, ok kat sini html dia tak tutup Okay, kita tak ada tak tutup HTML, dia cuma header okay, header sini and then untuk footer, uh, ini dia punya footer ok, dia punya ada certain code, kita separate this code and then this code and then uh, nanti baru kita combine right, uh, this one untuk footer ok, footer, so dia akan continue kat sini, nanti dia akan continue and then kita tutup balik body and then kita tutup balik HTML ok, we close the HTML right, uh, in this one for the footer, so later on uh, you have a header, the php and then you have footer you just include in any page just include uh, the same header file and then the same footer file in case kalau you nak just nak edit header just edit dekat header the php ok tak perlu edit se semua page kalau kita buat uh, tak include kan kita kena edit semua page kan sebab semua page sama ada header so kena ubah semua page so instead of that you use include just ubah dekat file ni so every, nanti every page pun dia akan berubah right now, kat sini pun boleh uh, put the content oh, sorry uh, alright ok ok remove ok so for this one in case you have uh, page 1 content, page 2, page 3, page 4 and page 5 and then you have a same header just point to the same header and point to the same footer ok, uh, ini uh, to reduce amount of work necessary uh, senang lah, nak maintenance uh, senang, ok, kalau you, you, you use this technique, ok ok, and then dalam PHP, we have function ok, uh, function yang last punya video, we learn how to build our own function okay, kita buat function kita sendiri and then for this uh, this one, PHP pun dia ada function basic function Okay, for example, php.info and this one kita nak tengok lah info apa yang ada kat php, version and so on and then we have date, ada include uh, includes and then the header, set, print and exit okay so we look into one by one this one untuk php info, it will list all the info okay, you just echo php info so dia akan bagi this one, semua ni lah okay, system and then php api apa semua ni lah Alright, and then version Version pada Ok, ha, ni yang sebuah API APG 2.0 Alright, and And then this one date Ok, in case you want to uh, Retrieve the current dates And time, just use date Ok, echo date So, ini dia punya formatting FJY ni dia punya formatting Kita tengok dia punya format dia Kita nak, uh, maksudnya formatting tu Kita nak, dia keluar tu macam mana Uh, date tu dia keluar macam mana ok for example like this one kita nak the full uh, the full year kita nak keluar 2003 or just 03 ok 
Okay, and then two digit or one digit, and then full February or Feb. Okay, you can control the formatting. I need the punya character. Just put the character in here. Sorry, sorry. Just put the character in uh in here. F J Y ni. This one. Okay, F J Y. We look F J Y. F. This one. F man. J J uh day of man day of man a k j and then j j f j y and then y okay capital letter y okay here yeah. okay and the the formatting lah how you put the formatting all right okay we move forward this one for the includes okay you want to includes okay yang kita belajar tadi include kita ada uh, external file we want to uh, divide your script into two part uh, you can use include okay uh, and then kita ada uh, for function ada includes ada include once ada require and re uh, require once okay uh, ini the function okay ni example using uh, includes okay uh, ada yang guna terus pang uh, panggil dalam footer dot includes eh ni dia akan terus include okay and then ada uh, this one dia akan include this file okay and then kalau untuk header and then this one untuk footer include Okay, you can use include ataupun use the content.php Panggil je file tu Okay, boleh juga kan content.php eh Kita panggil content.php Include content.php Or kita panggil dia punya header Okay, ini dia punya header eh Just header and then dia punya footer Alright, and then uh, what is different include and required Okay, includes Okay, uh, PHP delay the actual loading of a request file until the script will reach at the point executing that include segment ok this one dia akan delay dulu dia tak, kalau include selagi dia tak reach dia punya coding tu jumpa dia punya code untuk include dia takkan execute but require ok uh, waktu dia dah execute file tu dia akan terus execute this one require ok itu dia ada punya difference ok sebab uh, scripting tu dia akan go back line by line right and then kalau require dia akan execute on the spot execute okay in the normal progression of the script right uh, that's a difference okay in case kalau you memang nak nak uh, every uh, every page tu memang dia nak kena keluar just use required okay but include kalau ada certain you tak nak uh, ada certain stage uh, you tak nak dia keluar uh, betul include lah okay kalau ada if else ke apa just include dulu include okay kalau ada certain uh, if baru dia include that file and then for the header this one header ok untuk redirect uh, use to redirect the web browser for a current page to another you, you use header ok ini dia punya header first page yang dia nak pergi ok the header function must be called before anything is sent to the web browser ok ini yang first page nak pergi page mana yang bagi you put in the header ok alright Okay, we move forward and then print F untuk print. Okay, you need to print string. Just use uh, print F. Okay, like this one. Is set. Okay, for example, is set. You want to set the variable. Okay, you want to determine the variable is already set or not. Okay, so that can check. Okay, for example, is set will return the false. Kalau uh, variable to now, so that can return false lah. Kalau that mean dia set. Okay, dia ada ada variable dalam tu, ada value So, dia akan return true Okay, ha, tu is set Kalau unset, you want to uh, remove uh, the value Unset Okay, kita, kita buang lah Yang ni, this one to set, the check dia punya set This one to unset, kita tengok dia punya example eh. Okay, for example, this one Okay, kita, firstly, kita tengok sini A, variable A, kita dah put, kita dah set dia sebagai string test and then variable B kita uh, put as a another test okay, and then we check we check is it uh, uh, var variable dump kita tengok variable dump is set A kita tengok uh, uh, true or false so this one is true okay, sebab dia dah set is set A adakah uh, a variable A is ada value ok so true ok yang this one pun A dengan B dua-dua ada value true ok for and then we check kita cuba unset kita unset a ni that means kita remove dia punya value tak ada test, kita unset A so dia tak ada value, is just null and then we try test using is set and then this one must be false lah sebab dia null, 
the value the nulls and then the b okay even the b have a value but a is now so they are written false juga okay uh, that's mean tak set ada certain certain parameter ni tak set certain variable ni tak ada yang set so they are written false in case kalau dua-dua ni uh, set okay is set ada uh, uh, ada value baru dia akan return true like this one okay and then for this one kita tengok uh, is full uh, ni untuk variable full now Okay, so bila kita check inset, so dia akan return false sebab dia now. Alright, so clear. Yeah. Okay, so we move forward. Is it uh, what the function for is it? Okay, output a message and terminate the current script. If in case you want to ter terminate the script, you use is it. Okay, if my script not connect and able to connect, just is it. So dia takkan execute dah sampai habis. Dia just e sampai situ je. Okay, kalau uh, in case kalau kita ada exception ke apa, uh, should be dia, dia akan terminate lah. Okay, kalau dia enable to connect, internet connection, so dia, dia just easy, dia akan dia akan stop sampai situ. Okay. Alright, so for, uh, and then content value. Okay, value. And, okay, data type validation. This one you want to uh, validate your data type. In case ada form, you nak tengok kalau uh, user tu memang type uh, integer, must be integer, tak boleh string. Uh, so, you can use this one. So, dia akan check, is it the uh, variable uh, in in the correct data type or not? Okay, kita tengok firstly, we have numeric, this one, dia akan check, is it numeric, is numeric. Uh, so, dia tengok variable tu, kalau dia numeric, dia akan uh, adalah, dia buat, so dia akan check lah, true and false lah. Okay, is numeric, true, bukan so dia akan a uh, a uh, echo something print something this one for number this one for bool bool ni for a uh, true or false okay dia akan check this one is true or false like this one is bool a okay ada kan dia check sini uh, true or false jika uh, this one a uh, bool false ataupun true so dia akan uh, keluarkanlah output okay dan this one dia, dia this code eh this is a boolean okay maksudnya a uh, true or false lah And then for this one, B, tengok B, B, value dia 0. Okay, it's not true or false. So, is this one, dia akan, it's not a boolean. So, this one is not true. Okay, dia akan false. Right, clear. Okay, this one, dia akan check string. Okay, uh, actually string dia ada code lah, double quotes eh. Dia ada double quotes ataupun single quotes. Okay, ini string. Basically, kalau yang single quote ni, dia character. And we point as a character. Okay, for, uh, and then if we check this one dengan ini, okay, ABC dengan 23 is true. Okay, right? And then kalau kita tak ada double quote or single quote, dia akan jadi, this one dia akan jadi numbers. Okay, so we, kalau you put uh, double quote, dia akan jadi string. Okay, and then for this one, dia akan true. True is the boolean. So, it should be this one is bool, uh, false. Okay, nampak kan? Eh? False, kan? Eh? Okay, and then for is integer, dia akan check is it integer or not. Okay, for this case, okay, 23 is an integer, okay, but this one is string, not integer. Okay, this one is boolean, uh, and then uh, 23.5, is it integer or not? This one should be uh, floats. Okay, and then uh, array, okay, array, this one for the array, it will check is it an array or not. Okay, and take that sini, we, uh, kalau kita nak uh, make an array, put an array, Okay, ini dia punya ni lah. This is an array. Okay, should be this one an array. So, dia akan check. Is array. Okay, uh, untuk variable yes. Kalau true, dia akan return true lah. Okay, dia uh, uh, this one just not to check. True or false. Okay, uh, untuk this one. This is a string. Uh, this one uh, array or not. Okay, should be this one is not array. Ini just a string. Okay, ini bukan array. Array must put array. Okay. Okay, and then generating uh, encoded password. Okay, for example, password, you can encode and decode. Okay, um, so password, user type password. Okay, nak bagi the sec for security, you can try to encode that password. Okay, into a unformatting and formatted string. Okay, and then untuk decode, kalau decode, kita akan return balik original data tu uh, from encoded string. Okay, here an example. Like this one, so ada punya sign tag dia guna base 64 encode. Ya, ini you punya string and then string. Okay, uh, string data, punya data. You punya variable. Okay, for example, dia this one, ini dia punya, uh, uh, you punya variable. This is an encoded string. Okay, dia string lah, dalam bentuk start string. And then kita masukkan function ni, base 64 encode. 
uh, this variable string so dia akan keluarkan output macam ni ha, ini dia actually dia dah ikut lah ok dia punya password tu ok and then try try uh, this one untuk di uh, encode and then kalau kita nak translate nak decode balik you can use the decode this one encode ok the string and then you try to decode ok ini you punya string string tadi uh, string yang ada from the output tadi tu and then try to decode so dia akan return balik uh, this is an encoded string dia akan return balik lah buat the original value And then uh, string manipulation, this one in case you want to uh, uh, manipulate your punya string macam mana, macam mana kita boleh edit your punya string Ok, nak check, for example string word count, this one, this function to count you all punya uh, words Ok, how many words over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 words Ok, so dia akan uh, count, uh, count your punya string Okay, so that can count, count the numbers of words inside string. Okay, how many words? Okay, and then this one untuk substring count. Okay, kita want to count uh, berapa banyak substring yang kita nak count. For example, like this one. Okay, uh, kita nak count berapa banyak is dalam uh, string ni. How many is in the string? So, we have two is. Is, is. Over there, we have two. So, that can count. We have two string. Uh, two substring for is okay put like this one and then uh, like this one we have is but we put three what's mean three is start from the position number three that's mean uh, kat sini kan one two three so dia akan start from the s i s uh, a test okay dia akan start from here okay this t i s ni dia tak akan count dia akan start from s okay sebab we put uh, start from the three And then, uh, like this one, okay, dia akan check GCD, GCB, dia akan check GCB, uh, and GCB, GCB, and GCB, okay, and then uh, this one only one, dia punya output dia only one, okay, yang mana duplicate overlap dia takkan count, okay, this one dah, dah duplicate dah, walaupun sama eh, string dia, ha, dia takkan count, dia akan ambil sampai sini je lah, so dia akan count just uh, once. Okay, and then string line. This one to count the string line. How many line over here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. Dia punya how many string. Okay, ini kita nak tengok. Uh, dia punya line dia lah. 6, this one, 7. Okay, must be include the space. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, space also dia punya line juga. Okay, you must be considered. Alright, and lastly we have string to lower. Okay, string to lower, in case you have capital letter, you want to uh, make this um, uh, lower case, okay, you can use string to lower. So, it will convert all the string to the lower case. Okay, like this one, just use string to lower and then you punya variable tu, okay, and then they can translate into all the uh, variable, okay. They uh, translate to uh, all variable to the lower case. Okay, bila nak guna? For example, macam bila nak guna, for example, apa guna PHP lah, variable yang you learn ni sebenarnya, nanti bila uh, you buat form, nak masuk dalam database, okay, mungkin user tu akan type uh, ada huruf besar, huruf kecil, ada yang semua huruf besar nama, okay, sebelum dia masuk database, kita kena uh, cleankan data tu dulu. In case nak masukkan semua capital letter, uh, masukkan uh, string tu apa. Kalau kita nak save semua yang lower, lower punya uh, uh, variable, lower punya string, okay, pakailah string to lower. So, dia akan convert string to lower, baru kita masukkan dalam database. Okay, baru dalam database tu uh, clean. Tak adalah ada yang huruf besar, huruf kecil, yang so on. Uh, sama juga yang macam atas ni, kita nak count dia punya uh, berapa, berapa banyak substring itu, banyak guna nanti. Okay, in case you kena tahulah, okay, macam mana. Okay, word count. Okay, in, nanti ke depan, uh, memang will be useful. Right, uh, and then for decode and so on. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, lastly, as a conclusion, as a review. Okay, what you have learned about the include. Macam mana kita nak include. Okay, tak tak perlulah type banyak untuk uh, header and footer. Memang sama saja dia punya code. Mungkin kalau kita ubah that file, semua akan ubah. Okay, uh, memang for uh, best practices lah. We can say it's uh, best practices for the codes in the uh, web programming and then what is the purpose of header header uh, header the purpose dia 
you nak the, the first web browser tu dia nak lead ke mana ok this one we use header ok when you open ok dia akan uh, lead ke uh, page yang mana ok you use header and then uh, string to lower string to upper ha, ini kita nak convert eh ok the, uh, that variable tu lower case ataupun, ataupun upper case ok how to terminate process or page ok we will learn about our function ok about the easy ok tak easy kan ha, kita nak keluar dia akan terminate ok and then banyak lagi lah yang kita nak check dia punya view learn lah kita nak check string and so on ok dia tetap kita nak check the string ok uh, this one mungkin um, dalam form pun kalau kita tak guna javascript we can use php untuk check ok bila dia pass dia akan check tengok dia akan uh, let's check is it a string is it a number ok uh, it, uh, is yes so dia akan simpan If not, dia akan keluarkan error. One off lah. Ha, kita We can use uh, JavaScript or uh, PHP. Alright. Uh, this one. Okay, I think that's all for this chapter. Okay. Okay, I think that's all. Alright. I hope you understand and you can see our uh, the the slide in the you future punya. Okay, you tell me future I put the slide for your understanding. Okay, I think that's all. Okay, right. Thank you.